Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. If you're over 30, you may remember that back in the late 80s and early 90s, there was a movement, a fashion movement, among uh, the rap and hip-hop community of wearing clocks around their necks. Uh, it was a wonderful fashion statement. I think we were all really surprised to see it go. It, uh, when it first came out, nobody thought it was just going to be a flash in the pan. Uh, but it ended up being, and it's too bad that it was, because a clock around your neck isn't just a, a useful um, uh, accoutrement, if you're a rap or hip-hop artist, it's also a really useful prepping item. And to tell you why, I have a, a very special way to explain my thoughts on this. All right, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna rap. People who don't rap shouldn't rap. That's just a rule that I think should apply to everyone, and I'm going to follow it myself. Didn't the Pope try to rap a few years ago? Ugh. People who do not rap should not rap. Just end the story. End the story. I'm going to uh, just uh, tell you in uh, prose instead of poetry why I think that a clock around your neck is a very important prepping item. Uh, the reason is because uh, when you're doing stuff, uh, you know, in your house, uh, a lot of prepping stuff is kind of uh, manual intensive, uh, and there's a lot of multitasking going on. For, I'll give you an example. Uh, here at the house, I have a 170 gallon uh, water cistern in the basement. Uh, I fill that up weekly, uh, and I fill that up using grid power. I'm in the process of trying to fill it up using, you know, renewables, uh, but at the moment it still fills up off the grid, and then the 170 gallons in my cistern gets pressurized throughout the house, everything. and I use solar power to, to pump that, but once a week I have to fill up this cistern uh, with water. Um, we seem to use about 100 gallons for the three of us per week, which I'm pretty proud of. I mean, we could do less, but... Um, Regulations say that you know your average septic system is supposed to accommodate 110 gallons per person per day. So we're doing about 100 gallons for three people over a whole week. So I think we're doing pretty well on that. Again, could always do better. Uh, certainly could do better. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit there, but at the moment water is very easy to come by, so we chug through it. Um, but once a week, I'm filling up that cistern. Uh, occasionally, while I'm filling up the cistern, I've been a little sidetracked and it's overflowed. I think on five occasions I've overflowed my cistern. The first time I made a rule for myself. You have to stand next to the cistern the whole time. The thing takes almost 20 minutes to fill up. So a lot can happen in 20 minutes. You can hear like, you know, I've got a five-year-old. I could hear him fall down and I have to go and help him and then your mind completely empties of whatever you were doing and then your basement floods. Uh, after it happened the second time I made some other rules, made some other rules. At one point I was wearing a stopwatch and I put little marks on the side of it so I could see, oh, well, in 10 minutes I have to be back. That only works if you actually look at the stopwatch. Uh, what's really effective is a timer that rings, and that's why I have this one, I, and I use these for a lot of house tasks. Um, the one that I mentioned, also uh, watering the garden. I have rain barrels, and uh, there's a, like 500 gallons of, of rain water in those rain barrels, and I have that just go down to the, uh, the garden in the summer. Um, if I leave those open, they will completely empty, and it'll waste a lot of water that I didn't need to waste. Um, so, timer, and it dangles right around your neck. Uh, people have all sorts of different things to remind themselves. They say, put a rubber band around your, your wrist or a finger, a finger around your string. Ugh. Um, but those things only really help if you think to look at them and you, and you actually notice them. Something that is around your neck and rings, when it gets to zero, I have found has been very effective so far and I haven't had any, any problems with it. Uh, it's applicable to all sorts of things because whenever you are doing things in an unconventional way, uh, DIY and off-grid and everything, there are always these sort of manual intensive things and there are time limits on them, like for example, cooking something in a solar oven or in a parabolic cooker, and you oftentimes don't want to let them get out of hand. You know, even starting a fire, got the fireplace down there, uh, even starting a fire, you know, oftentimes you'll leave, uh, you know, a vent open to let it get a plenty of air at the beginning, but you want to make sure you close that vent later. And as we all get older, we lose the capacity to multitask and remember things and everything. So clock around your neck, very useful item. I would highly recommend it. And I got through the whole video without wrapping. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.